Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Void Train. And I am back out in the void, on for um, on the lookout for another uh, another arena, because I want to try to unlock the next stage of research, and I need acid to do that. Uh, I'm not going to be doing too much else other than focusing on that. I'm not going to worry too much about getting resources. I do have stuff. I do have this guy I got to take care of. Uh, as soon as I get rid of him, that is it. He is done. And then he doesn't bother me for the rest of the the path. Uh, so there's going to be too much going on. I'm going to be doing that. And if I come across any puzzles, I'll go take care of them and get the chest up. Nah, I will see you when I get there. Okay, so we seem to be in the same situation we were just in. There's another track over there. I had just blown through an outpost. So uh, I think this time I'm not going to try to blow up the train. I'm not going to fight these guys. I'm just going to hammer it. And uh, pray to God that things go okay. Uh, I'm going to open, grab my hammer. Because I got to do have to fix this ram now in case there's something on the other side. Uh, last time, there was a minefield. Hopefully this time, there's no mines. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any actual hazards I got to worry about here. Uh, I do want to... I have been figuring out that they have been actually cooking it themselves. And they have been taking it out. Uh, I did use... A little bit of ice and uh, some coal going through that. So I'm thinking, because I know this thing can make a water bidden. I think the water bidden actually lasts longer. Uh, there are only three, three ice and unstable chemical. Let's actually try this. Uh, make some unstable chemicals. Uh, I'm wondering if this is stackable. Uh, oh, yeah, this one here. I'm gonna love that, that audio cue, how I go from one car to the, in the next and the, the audio changes on me. Uh, let me get this stuff together and I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I have made five of the water bidden. I have one of the coal. I noticed that this is actually two slots, not one. So, uh, you actually, I think you actually, well, no, I don't think you need, actual, actually need the backpack. I think it, I think it defaults there. But I'm gonna go ahead and change this. I'm gonna put the water biddens in here. Okay, and then um, change this out. I'm going to lose one coal because I do that. But I'm going to put a full stack in there. And we're going to hope for the best. And I'm going to get... Uh, I don't actually know which weapon I'm going to use. But we're going to hope that I survive. Oh, yeah, that's not what I want to do. I actually want to hit the afterburner. Alright, let's see how this goes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to outrun them, if they're going to be able to harpoon me, I do not know. I also don't know if I want to run into a minefield along the way. Uh, we're going to pedal to the metal on this one. The only thing is though is I don't know if the afterburner stays on or what. And here they come. Always has to be so so foggy when they show up. Maybe they won't actually catch me. Oh, there they are. Let's see if this one does any better. Oh yeah, much more damage. See if I can get up top here. Yeah, the afterburner does turn off after a while. Uh, I have no idea where they are. Ah, uh, and I hit the wrong buttons again. Ah, we did it. Let's get out of here. I can't even see him. That is fine. 
Is the air disabled? We should be cruising along. Should be. What's going on here? It's a close one. I'm actually surprised I still have my engine. Okay, yeah, those are the other mines I was talking about. I believe, uh, I believe they're magnetic. Now, what am I going to need to repair this thing? <sighs> I somehow knew that was going to happen. I didn't die this time. It's a miracle. Uh-oh. How much is this going to cost? It's a good thing I have, have, have some scrap in here, or some iron. Oof. I was kind of hoping I could put armor on this thing. Only four iron. Wow, that's actually relatively cheap. I gotta craft some more, so... Uh, I'll bring you back when I'm out of the minefield and hopefully into the arena. Okay, well... I appear to have come up to another void gate. Now, the thing is, is I haven't been on the rails very long. Shortly after I left the depot... Uh, I came across the outpost, I went to the outpost, and then, sh like, almost immediately after the outpost, we came across the, the, the train route, uh, and, uh, the bad guys, we'll call them. I don't know exactly what they're called, but, uh, yeah, I ran across those, and short, like, literally just after I started recording, I came across here, and I was going through it shortly after the minefield, there's actually a mine still here, so... I'm kind of, this is sort of what I was saying about how things are sort of procedurally generated depending on your progress. And I maybe, this was sort of like a redo of the previous path where uh, I died multiple times. This time, not only did I get away from them, but I managed to, to destroy the engine and theoretically defeat them. So maybe something is going to change up here. I have no idea. But, uh, should be there in just a sec, so I'll... Oh, actually, I can see the gate there, so I'll ramble on for another minute. Uh, I almost might, might want to start grabbing this ice now. I went through almost all those water biddens and the coal that I had in there. Which was actually surprising, but I guess I hammered it like four times. And now I know it does actually drop off. Actually, we'll just leave that in there. I'll put it down once we get inside, because we don't know who's there. Actually, I want that coal. Never mind. I might have to move that. I don't know. I might have to move the thing over here and put the storage in the, in the back or something. Uh, regarding moving stuff around, it doesn't actually use wood for some reason. It does remember it saying it was going to use one wood to relocate it or something. can't remember. Uh, I should also look at... Uh, repairing the train because uh, a lot of these panel floorboards here are like 40%. Uh, where is it here? Yeah, 45 there, and then we got 70 there, and 40 on the other side for some reason. So that's something I gotta definitely take care of. Already had uh, the engine blow up on me once already. Oh, it didn't actually blow up. I don't know if it was just disabled, but I don't know if it will actually blow up, and I don't know if the train can actually roll like it is when it's in that state. That's actually a, a new one for me. I mean, the only thing I haven't got done so far that I've done before was the prophecies, but I don't know if there's still a thing in the game. Like the, the artifacts. I'm not 100% sure, like I'm still kind of locked up in storyline here right now. Uh, okay. And before I go in, I actually want to clear my inventory. Go down here, and I might as well actually start getting some stuff scrapped, uh, smelting, I should say. 
Alright, and... Uh, I was actually shocked it only took four iron ingots to, to repair the train, which is surprising considering the size of the thing. Nah. Did you guys eat the food already? Oh, I put it in the wrong chest here. Uh, maybe uh, I thought I saw him cooking, but I guess he wasn't. Anyway, uh, come on. There we go. Not that, that, and sure. Let's do it. No more looting. Let's get going. Got an arena to find. Do, 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 do. And just watch it fire back and that's a game over. No repair my train that time. But yeah, that definitely seemed like a much shorter path. Normally, like when I'm traveling along, you know, sure I'm stopping here and there, but it'd take me two, sometimes three hours between gates. This time it was only like 15, 20 minutes or something like that. But. I was flooring it too, so that doesn't help. Yeah, they're really going slow here. It's almost like something's going to change. Maybe I've unlocked progress. Let's find out. You know, I was thinking about that too, the, the worker info. I wonder if... For example, whether you determine your own destiny or everything has already been decided for you. Well, just a thought. I wouldn't you know that was fate that I just happened to be talking about the prophecy and the artifacts. Alright, so inspect the prophecy machine. So we need a machine for this thing now, huh? What is this? Oh, that was wood. Ooh, fancy blue light. Oh, hello. Alright, new note added. I'm gonna actually... By the note, the machine is broken. Oh, thank you. Alright, so now... Look in the workshop. Alright, now workshop's over here. Okay, so that... I think I was actually supposed to... Get away from the... The guys, that was why it was called the chase. Alright, now what am I looking for in here? Ooh, can I put that on my train? Please? Stop. Pick up the pedestal. I've got an idea where to put this thing. I don't wanna know. <laughs> I really don't wanna know. Let's actually see what these notes say here. Uh at the pedestal on the train, yada yada yada. Don't know if it's actually Anything in here, uh, tutorial, and yeah. Okay, no matter what. Actually, I want to check some on that cosmetics here. I'm seeing something about cosmetics. Oh, it's just stuff I have unlocked. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, now let's put this on the train and see what it does. I know before it was doing like uh, various resources and stuff like that. Ooh. Feels like it's missing something. All right, find the cause of the machine's malfunction. Can't we fix it with a hammer? Uh, okay, where are you guiding me to? I'm looking for an A. There you are. Oh. Interesting. I don't think that was where I was supposed to go. We found the cause. Now it's just a matter of not screwing everything up completely. Wrong man with the drub on this one. Uh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Oh. Here. 
such skill. Hey, we've done this before. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to be going to the vents or not. I was just exploring. Okay, switch on the machine. All right, now I guess I gotta go back to the vents. Uh, I can't go through that way, so it's gonna actually make me go through all this stuff again. Of course it will. Go over here. Don't have any tokens, so I don't care about that. And... Me either. Really? Not even a hammer. I'm in silent admiration. I suggested a hammer. It will yeah, take its that? rightful place on the pedestal. Or will it? Well, that's not for me to decide. Okay. Insert the prophecy or not. Now, frequency of leeches. So it's leech bait. Interesting. Or not. Alrighty, well. We're not going. So yeah, I can. This is basically re replacing the artifacts that we had, I had before. Uh, I do want to hang on to it because leeches are actually a good source of leather if I really need to. You need it. So we'll leave that in there. Uh, kind of like a fellow symbol. Let's not have that as a horror ornament, shall we? Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's about it. I'm going to do a quick repair on the train and I'm going to continue on to the next path and see if we can find um, an arena. Yes, that's the word. Okay, we are repaired up, fueled up, armored up, ammoed up. And fed up and ready to go. I want to make sure I repaired this. I did. Good. Uh, a lot of the floors did have to be replaced, but uh, other than that, uh, I don't have this thing on. You can actually interact. Let's see what happens when I interact with it now. Okay. Nothing. So it's doing basically what it was doing before with the, uh, the actual artifacts that we were finding. But anyways, I expect a different world. Uh, pretty much I'm not stopping for anything except for, like I said, the... Uh, the puzzles to get the chests and uh, and we're back to the bells and of course the arena and we'll probably find the arena here so unless there's any narration going on I'll have to take care of this guy of course I'm getting better with my shots too somewhat but uh, yeah I'll bring you back when I find something good Okay, so I've been going on for a little bit here, picking up some resources as, I, as I've been going along. And I came across some fireflies, so I'm going to go down there and uh, check it out, see if there's anything good. And then uh, bring you back when when I get there. Okay, so i got another puzzle here. This one is a little bit different. And I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. I know I think it's, uh, this one has to line up with sounds. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, let's actually put an anchor over here so I can move around back and forth a little bit better. And this guy is going to sing for us, I believe. I think he's telling a story, but basically what I have to do is uh, he's making sounds that line up with these. And I believe I have to do them in order. Let's see, dragon, duck, butterfly, and witch, or whatever that is. But let's go check this again. Ok, 
Okay, I think I know what it is. It was, uh... Dragon, duck... I think this one was fairly simple. Oh, I guess I got it wrong. Okay, hold on. It was, uh... Pretty sure it was... Hmm. Let me see if I can figure this out. Ah, uh, yes. I was missing something. Alright, so... Uh, okay, well, I think it sounds like gunshots. And then... Happy? Uh, there we go. Trial and error on that one. Now we go over here. And we can get this chest. Just like so. And I think that's the only three puzzles that I've seen. There might be more they've added, but I do have a, another one over here somewhere. I think it was another one of the light beam ones, but I'll meet you back to the train when I'm all done here. Okay, this should be it for this one. I'm hoping. Seems kind of odd because I got a reflector in the, behind me. I got one here, so I think that is not going to work. Hmm. Got that one. Oh, there we go. Back. Reverse shot. Alright. So that is that one. And I haven't really found too much else around here, just these two puzzles. So, uh, I shall meet you at the train.
here we are. Uh, I did try to repeat the, the arena again. I think because I actually finished the arena by doing all three rounds, finishing the, the big tank there. And oh my god, that thing was difficult. Like, just the amount of hits it was taking. It's a good thing I took the other guys out first because I wouldn't have stood a chance. And even then, as you saw, it was, it was launching me up in the air and I had absolutely no idea where it was. And... So yeah, it was interesting. Uh, I ended up getting six acid altogether out of it, plus the, the gold chest. So I have six chests in total. I actually found another another set of puzzles, and I actually got three from that one. There was another another small outpost I decided to take out, and didn't really find anything interesting there. I think I got a a blue quality barrel out of it. But now we are here, so that means I can uh, get some more research done. Uh, we can open up our chest, find out what we got, see how many mushrooms we can get, how much uh, decor we can unlock, and see if we can beautify up our train a little bit. And bad music, so that means there's somebody here. I did check over Fleemo at the other... Uh, okay, that is how I just at the other... Uh, uh, the last depot there, and it was, uh, it was the, the engineer one. So that is that. Uh, so I do have to go deal with these guys over here to free up the altar, and uh, I will bring you back when that's all done. Okay, I am done. I saw so these guys too. Uh, I took a bit of a beating. Uh, let's see if we can pick up that. Uh, I did find, as you can see, we got some blue modules here. I don't know if I can actually grab it. It's clipped into here, and it actually looks like it's a full gun. I kind of. Sucks. Oh well. Oh, I saw something there. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, it was just a weapon module. Another barrel. Sure. Grab it. Whatever ammo I can get. And I, what is that? That is. Ooh, a nice barrel. <laughs> that actually might be coming handy. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Let's see what kind of gun that is, see if it's any good. Fast fire rate. Let's uh, hang on to that for now. See if it's any good. That's a normal module. What is that? Hmm. Looks kind of makeshift. So we'll just get rid of that. And, uh, oh, another, another purple module. Or is that an actual gun? Oh, that was a module. A clip. Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to keep looting, see what I can find. Ooh, I'll look at the fire rate on that. Kind of wondering about that. But, uh, I'll bring you back when I'm all done. Okay, so let us see what we can get, get here. Let's move one chest. See which one it gives me first. That's a normal chest. And we get one mushroom out of it. Okay. I don't know the module I don't have the space for. Of course, I don't have the inventory space. Never do. All right, let me deal with this. Oh, okay, let's see what chest number two has. Bring this one over. See which one it brings. And... Oh, I think this is the one from the... I think that was the one from the arena. I'm not too sure. Uh, nothing exciting. Oh, okay, we did get a mushroom. All right, bring the next one over. If I do it right. Okay. A normie chest. Got more seeds and more mushrooms. Good. And I'm going to leave that module if I can. And I'm out of space already. Oh my god, I'm getting a lot of wood. Uh, I'm not, oh, it's an actual shotgun barrel. Got no gun. Don't care about it. And, oh my god, more stuff. Uh, hmm. Getting a lot of supplies. Uh -huh. Alright, well, I'll just bring everything over and then I'll sort through it afterwards. I want to open up all the chests, see what I get. Got a normal chest. Some usual stuff. Another mushroom, of course. What we want is those mushrooms, right? Well, my staff wants those mushrooms, to be honest. I like how it's a different one. Bring in one every time. Ooh, got some more seeds. And more stuff. Okay, bring on the next chest. 
I just like this that I don't actually have to bring them over. And more mushrooms, more seeds, more everything else. And that is it for the chest. Alright, well, let me get everything together and I'll bring you back when we're done. Okay, I'm back. And I have a lot of iron. And I'm not joking, a lot of iron. Uh, not only are these two actually full now. Uh, that one and that one. I also have that full of wood, that full of wood, and that sorry, that one half full of wood. Uh, I also do have a full chest of iron. And a half. And I also have a lot of food somewhere. Yes, over here. You have a lot of food which I can't even put in there. Chemicals I can't even put in there. Uh, let's oh, let's get that back in the chest and grab those. And let's feed each and every one of them one of them. Alright, where are they hiding? Uh, where are you? Okay, you. Come here. Okay, let's give you a mushroom. Let's see what you give me. Didn't look very good. Later armchair. Okay, so I can build an armchair. Now let's give you another one just because. And, ooh, ooh, fancy stuff. All right, that was you. Now, who's next? Who's next? Now, they're going to be on the other side here, aren't they? Where would they be hiding? Little rascals. Okay, you already ate. I'm gonna pick you up. I'll give you one. What do we get? A lamp! Oh, nice. Uh, sure, we'll give subscribe one more. I still gotta do a like and share, I think. And this one gives us train car sides. Oh, just more different types. Interesting. Cool. All right, now where are the other guys? Gotta hunt them down. It's almost like they play hide and seek. They want food, but they don't. They're never around when I want to feed them. Hmm, not in here. Let's see. I know there's another one there, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, and then you, you're gonna get one. Let's see what you get me. A shelf. Oh, I'm gonna have to check that one out. That actually might come in handy. All right, now for the last guy. Cause I did have six, six mushrooms total. And hopefully if I can get more decor, these guys will be happier. And a new floor type. Huh, interesting. Let's actually see what these floors are all about. Yeah, it's a wooden floor. Oh, you need scrap. So in other words, it's armor-plated floor. Okay, and then the light is just iron. It's a decorative object. Doesn't look like an armchair to me. It looks like a shelf or a end table. What other things we've got in here? Uh, oh, yeah, the shelf, too. Let's actually see where this goes. Huh, interesting. I can place a shelf right there if I want. Hmm. Let us put this somewhere. I don't like you can't put it right above there, but I should be able to put it right there. And I want to see if I can interact with it. If I can place objects on it. Uh, hmm. No. Can I place that on there? That's not the button. No. Alright, strictly decoration then. 
Okay, let's go check out the, the new wagon walls. See what this is all about. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. uh, I'd have to disassemble those. Let's actually disassemble this. Oh, wait, hold on. What did I just disassemble? I took something apart. What did I do? Uh-oh. What did I do? Oh, wait. Did I take the armor off? Oh, I think that's what it was. I think I took the armor off. Yes, that's what it was. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, open cabin. Let's uh, dismantle this. And... Oh, we can get the turret. Oh, yeah, okay, I get you. I get you. Now, can I actually place anything over here this time? No. Well, that's just going to be the same there. But we can go, go all fancy here. Should I go open or closed? Yeah, let's go closed. Okay, now, uh, another thing I want to do. Where is it? I need iron. Good thing I crafted a whole bunch of iron. Or smelted, I should say. Give me the book. Give me the book. Thank you. Yeah, I can't even place it there. Uh, I, uh, kinda odd placement of this, these things. Let's see what it does in here. That's it. I know there's actually furniture I can get to. I wonder if I can place it on here. All right, and and let's just go ahead and move this, and it will not go on top. Oh, it does. All right. Well, that does give me a little bit of light, but not much in here. But anyways, I think that, oh, actually, that's not what we're going to finish off with. I got to do research. There we go. Yes. Okay, so I want to research boiler upgrade and also the traction too. But traction too doesn't matter until we upgrade the engine. But I need four rubber altogether for it. And the, the rubber, I believe, was in lab two and was acid and resin. And the resin was chemicals and wood. So let me get this stuff together and I'll be right back. And after a quick round of auto uh, micro crafting, I am finished. I have everything I need. I do have the rubber. I have the thing. I have also upgraded the train to luxury, uh, to the luxury model, but can't see it because the armor plating. But this looks fancy on the inside, and that's all that matters. All right. So now for research. So let's go ahead and research the boiler upgrade. Boiler upgrade three, which gives us more steam. And I'm guessing that just means that the afterburner will last longer, possibly. And traction, I need two of those. Oh. Okay. I have two two of them now, so let's go ahead and research this and see what it unlocks. I have no idea what it unlocks, but it unlocks fertilizer. Okay, I'm not gonna unlocks a recipe for void plant plus. Interesting. Armory two. Unlocks it for extracting weapon core, okay. Ammo container. And explosive powder. Oh, so we get to make grenades. Fun. Interesting. All right, well, we got that research. Let's go uh, have a look at this quickly. See if we can actually do anything with this. And no, I don't think so. Not enough resources. So wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, I can upgrade. I think we'll have to check this out. Let me get some supplies and see what we can do with this train. Okay, I'm just crafting up the last two bearings. I have made six of everything. And hopefully that's going to be enough to actually uh, upgrade and see if we can actually upgrade all that. Upgrade that far. As, as far as I know, the engine's got limitations, but I noticed that when I added the traction upgrade, it filled this in, so we actually have a solid engine now. 
So that's cool. That's interesting. All right, now let's go over here and we'll upgrade you. And platform limit reached. So I get one more platform, which is better than nothing. So I might be able to actually get two platform. Uh, uh, two gathering stations if I wanted. Which I could do. Or we could uh, get more... Hmm. More storage, even. Uh, I wasn't sure. I do like how you can look around your train while you're in here. Alright, well, that is good. I might actually use that for, like, chests and lumps and stuff like that. Now, there's only one left thing left to do before we call this an episode. Let's uh, check out the new hire and see if he's actually any good or not. Alright. Are you serious? I walked away as I was putting it in, so it just tossed on the ground. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay. Are you any good? Or are you just going to be another cookie cutter? Fuel costs in kitchens by 10%, and... Bonus dish while it's cooking. Well, we don't need a chef. But I think this would be a good place to call it. Uh, it's been quite a long episode for me. It was uh, an handful, that's for sure. But I survived this time. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>